My name is Chellis Hall. I'm 36 years old. And my injury was, it was back in 2009. I, I had injured my back at work, which resulted in two herniated discs. That's what started this, this part of my journey. This goes back to the year 2000. I was 16 years old and I had broken my collarbone snowboarding and I missed a patch of ice and I just hit and I broke my collarbone. My dad did not believe me and he waited 24 hours to take me to the doctor. So that's the first time I was prescribed opioids. He prescribed me Vicodin and by the second refill, I was totally addicted. I felt really good. It was like worry-free. But then the problems started. They, they pile up and they come after you get, you get down off of them. Like you ride the high, but the high doesn't last that long. And the more you take, the more, you, the more it takes to, to get you high up there. I overdosed on methadone. I, I ran out of my regular opioids and I went to my ex-wife's uncle and he gave me a, he, he had me a bunch of pills and said to take as many as I needed for the pain to go away. And I woke up seven days later in the ICU to everyone not being able to talk. That's when I decided I need to make a change in my life. That was my rock bottom. My, my wife was, she was 24 years old at the time. It put so much stress on her. She had to make life decisions for me. And that was too stressful. And so we, we started arguing and started blaming each other. And that's what led to our divorce. I have a pain pump inside my stomach now. I don't take opioids over the, through my mouth. I just have them put in my pump and they get delivered straight into my spinal cord. That was my, that was the biggest decision in my life because I wouldn't be able to walk, but because this pump, I can walk. Today I'm pursuing a master's degree in social work at Arizona State. I was being seen by an excellent physician during one visit, she noticed I was really depressed and having suicidal ideation. And so she referred me to the psychologist and he literally saved my life. This psychologist made me realize I can still do things. And just because I'm a military doesn't mean I'm, I can't be a productive member of society. And he's the one that got me started on my education. And he got me interested in addictions and psychology and how addiction runs in families. My life has been changed by education. Now I know that opioids are horrible in the, in the context of getting high. There is not one activity my overdose hasn't affected, from bathing to eating to, to changing clothes. I am truly grateful for my overdose because it has got me on the path I am today. And I will not be where I am today without the education and the people that have helped me along the way. So I just want to say anyone out there watching this, don't give up. You can do it and there's people here to help you do this and to guide you through your journey. I'm Allison. And I'm Eric. We work at the Arizona Spinal Cord Injury Association, and we are addressing the current opioid crisis within the disability community. We are advocating to change the conversation and develop professional alliances with healthcare services to adjust the outcome for people with disabilities, their families, and caregivers dealing with the opioid crisis. Did you know within the medical community in the United States, opioid prescriptions are the most commonly recommended treatment for chronic pain? 
However, it only takes five days to develop an opiate dependency. These medications can be an important part of treatment, but also come with serious risks. Studies have shown that people with disabilities have chronic pain and are disproportionately affected by opioid use disorder, commonly known as OUD. That is why it is important to understand the risks of using opiates and being educated about chronic pain, side effects of opioid use, and alternative treatments. If you are in need of assistance and want more help, please feel free to contact us.